You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. Today we're going to be talking about nighttime operations. Very excited about that. But just know that when you wake up in the morning, you've got two choices. Go back to sleep or wake up and chase those dreams. Hashtag live the drone life. Anyway, welcome to another show. My name is Paul. My name is Rob, and this is episode 673, and I'm glad that we chose to wake up and chase those dreams today. Hope you guys did too. We certainly thank you for spending your day with us, at least a little bit of it. Um, good question today. I think this is something that, uh, well, obviously it affects a lot of people because there are a lot of people with 107s and a lot of those folks want to fly at night or at least at twilight. So hopefully True. this helps you. Anti-collision lights are important and you can fly in civil twilight. I need to look up the 107 though because I'm pretty sure the anti-collision light is necessary definitely for nighttime operations, definitely for other parts of your operations, but I, I just need to pull up the specifics. I can read it up. But um, anyway, which you should be reading up on 107 because, as you know, August of next year, the recency test is coming up, and I hear they have changed the questions. Mm. So we will be adding new questions to our site if you are part 107. Um, and yeah, really excited about this. So anyway, let's play the question, which is brought to you by our friends at videoblocks.com forward slash drone. If you're looking for music for your videos and you're just having a hard time in other places, the chances are you can get the same music but pay one annual subscription rate of $149 a year to get access to audioblocks.com and also videoblocks.com, which as you guys know from the show, has plenty of copyright free video and audio clips for you. Just go to videoblocks.com forward slash drone Save a little bit of money. Don't be like me and spend 20 bucks per sound clip from Audio Jungle. Go to videoblocks.com forward slash drone, which will give you access to Audio Blocks. Also, special thanks to the Drone You community. Really excited to be launching these new classes for you. And I'm really excited for the subject tracking class, which is coming up next week in Arizona. That class is sold out, and I'm very excited to be doing that class. Should be a lot of fun. So That is going to be fun. Anyway, guys, well, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. Just kidding. Let's play the question. <laughs> Hi, this is Isaiah Gaia from Park Rapids, Minnesota. I just got my Part 107 last weekend. In order to fly during twilight, according to the Part 107, I have to have a light that can be seen for three miles. But I'm not allowed to install any lithium batteries on board the drone unless it's for the primary power source. Do you have any lights you'd recommend? How would you do that? I'm a little bit confused because I want to offer clients sunrise and sunset without having to take off immediately as soon as the sun comes up. Thanks for doing this podcast. I really enjoy it. Thank you for the question, Isaiah. And Congratulations on getting your 107. Definitely. Congrats, buddy. Yeah, a little awesome. confused by the end of his question there, but no big deal. Um, so recently we did a review, Rob, if you were here. Yeah, you were here mm -hmm. um, with Vic Moss on the Avio Engineering. And it was, I think, called the Drone Max Light, but now they've changed the name to Pico Max Light, which uh, check out the footage right here. As you can see, you can attach to your drone on the top. Doesn't affect the compass. Doesn't affect um, the GPS whatsoever. Um, there's no external, which is the keyword, external battery that you have to mount to the drone to use that light. Everything is built into the light. It weighs, uh, it's just, it's, I'm not even sure what it weighs. It's no more than I want to say 100 grams. It's, uh, and don't quote me on that, but it's so light, it does not affect the endurance of the drone whatsoever. We even tested the light, as you can see again in the video from three miles away. But here's the key thing. You know, I haven't seen too many anti-collision light reviews, but even some of them that I have seen, people are testing whether they can see the light from the ground. That's not really important. Right. Because the people that need to see the light are in planes and helicopters in the control tower, mm -hmm. which normally are above your drone. So we actually... At least they should be above your drone, I sure right? hope so. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it may be too late. That's <laughs> right. Well, yeah, and you're not flying legal either. Um, so anyway, what we did is we actually went three miles away, measured the distance, and then I was above Vic. I think it was by an elevation difference of like, I want to say four or 500 feet. 
Um, and we wanted to make sure that we could see the strobing light, which we could. It was very visible. Again, it didn't affect the flight of the drone itself. And frankly, it's it's a really awesome, you know, piece of machinery. So mm -hmm. um, I believe the website is in the review video. Check out the review video itself on our YouTube page. Uh, it is $139.99. And if you're flying at night, it is definitely, definitely important. Here is the link. Let's make sure this works. Very important as I'm multitasking here. Anyway, um, if you are listening to this on iTunes, this light is probably... The size of a golf ball in width, that's kind of what I think about, but it's mm -hmm. only about maybe a centimeter to a centimeter and a half in height. Wow. So They really, packed quite a punch into this thing. Yeah, they sure did. And, you know, other people are like, oh, well, you know, what if I just get a single LED and tie it into the bird? This has five super powerful LEDs, and we can actually put the drone new stamp of approval on it because you can see it from three miles away. So that's why we like this uh, particular light. And again, just search for anti-collision light for nighttime drone operations on YouTube because the video is already there. So are there less expensive options? There are, but they haven't been proven that they work. Okay. That you can actually see them from three miles away. Okay. So this so, is like, Vic has been looking into this and researching right. this a lot. And this is what he chose as essentially the winner of the research. Okay. And then reached out to that group and we didn't get any special deal on it. Hopefully they'll send us some, but uh, we didn't really get any. No, this any, is like you said, this is just Vic putting in a lot of work figuring out what options are out there and then kind of digging in and then testing at least this one. I don't know if they test, if you guys tested the others, but, um, well, the, we were worried that the others weren't going to work because it was only one led or two leds and this is five and they all, they, they sync up, they all light up at the same time. Um, and again, this is, this is Vic's research. So yeah. Vic took this on head on, got the answer. We did the review and now there's a solid answer for that review. Sweet. So, Very cool. Anyway, yeah, make sure to check out the review on YouTube. And if you know someone who's flying at night, don't be afraid to share the podcast or the review video on YouTube. But that's going to do it for us today on this very short episode of Ask a Drone You. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. And you're listening one more time to Ask a Drone You. Drone <laughs> You.